This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. In the latest DraftExpress.com mock NBA draft, three former Kentucky Wildcats are projected to be lottery picks. Former Trey Lyles is not one of those three players, but is projected by various media outlets to be drafted anywhere between 9th and 15th. When asked where he thinks he fits into this year's draft class, Lyles says that is not something he spends much time thinking about. You know, I really don't try to pay attention to it. Um, I just try to come out here in every workout that I have and work as hard as I can and uh, show the people on the team and um, the coaches and the managers and stuff that you know I'm capable of playing at the level and I have skills that you know that are going to be able to translate. What are your, your uh, biggest strengths you think that you can bring to a team like the Jazz? Um, just knowing how to play the game, uh, being a smart player, team first, like I said. Um, a guy that can come in and make an instant threat on offense and defense and a guy that just does whatever the coach needs for him. The defending national champion Vanderbilt Commodores had their college World Series opener with Cal State Fullerton suspended Sunday down three to nothing, but they were saving their best for this afternoon's completion. Commodores down three to one in the ninth with one out. Ryan Reynolds lines one down the left field line for a double. Xander Wheel scores and Vandy is down just one run. Next batter is freshman Jaron Kendall and Kendall delivers the second pitch he sees. Deep into right field, that one is not coming back. A walk-off two-run home run. The first walk-off at the College World Series since 2009. And Vanderbilt advances in the winner's bracket 4-3 to three over Cal State Fullerton. Another exciting finish in the elimination game between Arkansas and Miami. Jacob Hayward gets the Hurricanes on the board in the fifth. A two-run blast to left center field, giving Miami a 2-0 lead. Now 2-1 to one in the seventh. Bobby Werns singles back up the middle to chase home a run. The Razorbacks tie the game at two. Now tied at three in the ninth. Hayward at the dish again, and again he delivers. A walk-off RBI single to left center field. Miami keeps its season alive, eliminating Arkansas four to three at the College World Series. Well, including Sunday night's 2-1 to one loss to the Chicago Cubs, the Cincinnati Reds have six walk-off losses this season. The club trying for better fortunes in the Motor City. No walk-off needed in this one. Tough start for the Reds in the first. Starting pitcher John Moscott gets the runner caught in the rundown. He's going to dive and get the out, but he has to leave with a dislocated left shoulder. Timetable for his return is unknown. Tigers take advantage on the, of the relief pitching in the sixth. J.D. Martinez sends a shot to right center field. Clears the wall for a two-run shot. Detroit leading 5-0. Anibal Sanchez limits the Reds to just two hits as he gets the shutout six to nothing. Game six of the Stanley Cup final. Chicago going for its third title in six years, hosting Tampa Bay. Lightning on the fast break in the first. Steven Stamkos with a shot, but it's off the crossbar, just missing a breakaway goal. Chicago with the pressure. Jonathan toes in front of the net, but Ben Bishop is there for the stop for Tampa Bay. Second period, Stamkos with another chance all alone on the break, but Corey Crawford denies him of the goal. We're still scoreless in Chicago. Later in the second, Patrick Kane to Duncan Keith. Keith misses the shot initially, but gets the rebound, puts it in the net, and the Blackhawks are Stanley Cup champions, defeating Tampa Bay 2-0 in Game 6 in Chicago. 